How's it going guys? Thanks for dropping by. We got something some of you may be interested in and others probably came here for a good cringe. Well, I can tell you viewers from both sides will get what they came for. We have here Snapping's version 2.0 of the spectacles. I just shook my head at version one. Like the concept is cool, but the execution was quite poor. So why did they make a second version? Well, apparently there seems to be enough people who are buying these and I guess enough to warrant revamping and rectifying the issues from the previous version. I figured since a version 2 is available, maybe there's still hope that these might be worthy enough to try out. Version 1 was absolutely hideous, if you guys remember what that looked like. I'll give credit where credit is due though. This is a big step up when it comes to aesthetics. It's made mostly of plastic all around, but it looks much nicer and seems to have a basic yet stylish design. There are three types you can get from Snap Store, but this in our opinion looks better. We got the Nico design, which came out at $269.99 Canadian, but you can get the original design for $70 cheaper. When I thought about doing this review, I first asked, who is this for and would this appeal to that specific audience? Now, of course, anyone using Snapchat such as myself may be interested in this due to the ability to record from a first person perspective. Vloggers and sport enthusiasts might love this for the way you can record without holding anything in your hand. I figured that would be cool, but my initial thinking was that it would pretty much act as a lens and our phone would be our viewfinder. It's definitely not that. So how does it work? Before we get into that, let's look at what we have inside the box. For your hard earned money, in return, you will receive the Snapchat spectacles, a USB-A to magnetic proprietary charging cable, a case, side note here, I've seen some people getting a hard case that charges the device while inside. I don't know why we didn't get that. It wasn't included with our version of the Snapchat spectacles, Maybe it's a US only thing, but for us here in Canada, we get a standard leather case. Thanks, Snapchat. I feel like we just got shafted. So looking around the glasses, we just have plastic pretty much encompassing the entire frame, as well as the lens. It doesn't seem like it's made of any premium materials at all. In fact, I can probably find a dozen glasses that look like this for under 10 bucks. But I guess what we pay for is its capabilities. Okay, I guess there's a silver lining here. The lenses seem to be polarized, but still not impressed. Housed on the left-hand side is an HD camera. Snapchat really doesn't mention the resolution on their site, but they claim it can take full HD. On the other side of the spectacles, we have the recording LED indicator, which tells us when it's recording, when you snap a photo, or when the battery is low and needs charging. Finally, we have the charging receptacle hidden between the plastic. It's magnetic, so your charger can just snap into place when you need to top up. I should mention that these spectacles are also water resistant, but before you head into the pool to get those underwater shots you think you can get, let me repeat that. These are water resistant, not waterproof. You can apparently take it underwater, but I wouldn't recommend going any further than a couple feet. They can stand against some splashing here and there, so make sure to keep it close by at a pool party. So the spectacles are pretty much ready to go when you are. There's really no on button. Instead, you put the glasses on and all it takes is one tap of the button to start recording. You tap once to record 10 seconds of video and extra taps give you an extended 10 seconds up to a maximum of 30 seconds. Holding down on the button will allow you to shoot a photo. The ring on the glasses will illuminate to inform people you are recording and I got no complaints about that. In fact, it would be downright creepy if it didn't. Now here's where I was surprisingly disappointed. Never having the version one of these glasses, I didn't really know what to expect. But my understanding is that these glasses would work as a lens and the phone, 
would work as a viewfinder. I thought it would make more sense to just press the button and record constantly until you decide to stop recording like a normal camera or a phone. This would be so much better for doing vlogging or extreme sports where you don't have to keep focusing on pressing that button to record. I mean, if using these as a glorified Snapchat app on your glasses was what you were expecting, then don't worry, you won't be disappointed. Snap claims this can last almost a week with regular usage. It lasts for about 70 video snaps or more if you're just taking photos itself. We found that consistent, if not a little bit better with their usage. I was able to make this last a couple days and I played around with it a lot. And charging is not bad either. I went from 15% to 80% in about an hour. You can tap the side of the glasses to find out how much battery life you have left. Syncing all your snaps is pretty simple as well and very fast. It only requires a Bluetooth connection. When you plug in the glasses for charging, it'll automatically sync with Snapchat. It moves all your videos and photos over to the Snapchat app in your memories under one story. You'd have to go through them and export them to your camera roll. Pretty cumbersome, but it works for the most part. You can also hold down the shutter button for seven seconds to force transfer. What I do appreciate though, is the ability to choose how we want to export our snaps. Snapchat gives you four different options from circular with a white background, black background, square, or even widescreen. So, would I recommend these glasses? Probably not. For what they're capable of doing, there's no way $260 would justify that price. Not to mention, the material feels kind of cheap and the design is just meh. If you are looking for something like this, you might want to wait a bit longer until other competitors come out with something similar and that isn't tied to just Snapchat. Hope you enjoyed this review guys. If you plan on getting these glasses or already have them, let us know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell notification. We will have a lot more videos coming in the future. Also check out the description below and we'll put a link as to where you can buy these glasses if you so desire. I'm Jerry the Tech Avenger. Don't forget when it comes to tech, the Tech Avengers are there. We got your back.